Toongrin.com Fighting shows have always been a classic love for me. Many animated ones from my nostalgic past have all featured some of the most top-notch fight choreography on the TV screen. But now it's time to spotlight one of the champs of fight choreography on the computer screen. This is Mark Haynes' aka Alvin Earthworm's Super Mario Bros. Z. Debuting in April 2006, we all got the ultimate crossover fangasm for the internet, Mario, Sonic with a Dragon Ball ZS story. Speaking just for myself, this was around the time that Sprite animated Newgrounds cartoons were all the rage, and I was a huge fan of this style. Some really quirky, unique, and funny Sprite tunes came out of this time, but the most impressive Sprite animation was undoubtedly from Alvin Earthworm's Super Mario Bros. Z. The story of the show is that the seven Chaos Emeralds from the Sonic universe were transported and scattered in the Mushroom Kingdom, but with them came the heartless and cruel metal monster Mecha Sonic, who was now on a mission to kill everything in his path to gather all seven to become all powerful once again. The only ones in his way are five heroes, Shadow, Sonic, Yoshi, Luigi, and the one and only Super Mario, and they'll face many past villains both from the past Mario game canon to collect the seven emeralds and save the Mushroom Kingdom. To start up from the ground up, the story is thankfully trying to be its own thing rather than being the stereotypical fangasmy fanfiction fair the name sort of implies. It's not all about saying, whoa, Mario and Sonic, who's better and gonna be more badass? There's an actual natural narrative that connects the two and allows them to interact like characters and not icons meant to be ceremoniously praised. The concept of mashing DBZ collect the seven blanks fetch quest alongside Super Mario isn't anything new anymore, but SMBZ stands out from the crowd thanks to it's, to me, the characterization of Mario and Luigi. Unlike other iterations where they are given dialogue, which included the words crap, hell, and damn, clearly things Mario would definitely say, the Mario Bros and Yoshi keep up their babble talking style, which most would remember came from the Mario Luigi RPG series. You may consider it a small aesthetic detail, but this alone creates a clear difference between the Sonic universe and the Mario universe, creating an interesting dichotomy in interaction between the two sides. Plus, this mime-like stalking lends itself better to bigger, more expressive comedy and jokes from the bros. The running prose doesn't stop there though, at the same time there are dozens of references to Mario and Sonic games and a few internet fans so that those who grew up on them can get their nostalgia flowing while watching, and the character writing remains consistent and distinct across the cast, giving the series a more authentic feel as everyone acts the same to their video game established personas. But the writing isn't really the highlight of the show, is it? Not when another aspect of the show trumps it with its consistently improving quality, the animated fight scenes. Yes, if Alvin has proved anything, it's that in the later episodes he knows how to bring the speed, impact, and weight of a well choreographed fight scene. Even with this technical limitation in the earlier episodes, it's a clear flow to the combat. And an added touch I love is that with each fight, the bros, Hedgehogs, and Yoshi seem to grow in fighting prowess, which gives even the fights a sort of narrative arc to it, building up the tension each episode as the fights become more complex and bigger. Yes, SMBZ was a freaking boss back then, which is why it disappointed a lot of people when Alvin Earthworm decided to indefinitely put the series on a hiatus due to a multitude of reasons, which I won't go into here, because I'm here to do one thing with this spotlight. I'm here to recommend you a series done by a creator who put a lot of love, time, and effort to create a sweet fighting show starring some of our favorite video game characters with increasingly improving animation that just blows the mind. And it just all wraps up in saying that after all this time, he's still going strong. Yes, earlier last year, Alvin Earthworm returned, giving us his name, Mark Hayes, and announced not only new episodes of Super Mario Bros. Z, but a total reboot of the show. 
At the time of recording, episode 1 has come out a week ago, which is a redone version of episode 1 and 2 from the original 8 episodes, and it is a clear upgrade. Updated pixel graphics for all the characters, adding in a clear 3-dimensional feel to the world, allowing for more movement and size in future fights. New animated close-up shots to add a more personal connection as we can see with more detail the characters' emotions, and slight tweaks to the script to add more contextual meanings to the show. Like changing the original Mario Kart race to a Smash Bros tournament pitting Mario vs. Wario. This changeup gets us straight to the action, which we're all here to see, and it makes much more sense to start off with a fight in a fighting show rather than a kart race in a fighting show. So you can still call me a fan, as Mark has clearly outdone himself doing creatively what I've always considered doing for Cartoon Corner for the longest time. Ugh, I hate my first episode. So bad. But after that praise, I don't want to say the original SMBZ isn't worth your time. Both old and new episodes show a clear level of detail and skill that both deserve to be watched. This Mario and Sonic crossover is hands down one of my fave online animated series for its writing, for its animation, and just for the sheer epicness of the fights. Definitely check this out. Awesome.